Hey everybody, I wanted to show you today how to use the iframe generator plugin software to create your own unique branded plugins. I think you're really going to like this because it's very simple. As you can see uh, from the prior video too, bringing up the uh, software is also pretty easy. Well, the next step is just as easy and will only take a few minutes for you to do this. Um, what you can do is gather the information ahead of time first. I would suggest that you do that because it just makes things a little bit easier. That way you know exactly what you're going to do with your plugin. So here we have a website that my wife has asked me to help promote, which is the Aquaponics Survival Community Support page, which is actually more of a subscription page for her newsletter to all the people that are part of her magazine that she promotes each month. So uh, this is just going to be another way that we can get some additional traffic and maybe some signups. So we thought it would be really cool to create a specialized plugin, and you could watch right before uh, your eyes the plugin being made. So the first thing we wanted to do was come up with a plugin name, and we wanted to make sure that the plugin name also had the main keyword, which is aquaponics. And by the way, if you're not familiar with aquaponics, it's just a really cool way to grow your own food and also have. Uh, your own protein that is through both fish and the uh, relationship between the fish and the plants and it's all based on uh, uh, hydroponics combined with the use of fish so that's about as much as I know about it but she has a very large following she has one of the largest followings on Facebook too and I'm going to show you how we can integrate the Facebook page too so we can get more visits and more signups there next thing we did was write a description and the description was going to go here and what this does is it will actually generate uh, the words that people can see after the plugin is created and tells people exactly you know what they're going to get with this plugin the next thing that we wanted to do was to decide on a version and we're just going to call it version 1.02 Obviously, you can call it anything you want, especially if you make multiple plugins. It can be very useful. You can have 1.03, 1.04, 2.0. Uh, I'm sure that you're aware of that. Next, I'm going to add my wife's name here. And if it will go there. All right. I'm going to give me a problem here. I love cut and paste, but sometimes it doesn't cooperate. The next thing that we're going to do is uh, for the URI, which is like a resource area, this particular section here, uh, you can put pretty much any information about the plugin. And usually it's more technical in nature, but because we're using this to generate leads, uh, in this particular case, we're going to add her Facebook community, which uh, has over 11,000 people, which is a lot in this particular kind of niche. So uh, we'll probably get more once we start promoting this. And then the author's URL, again, uh, we're going to um, use the subscription page. And that is the first part of the plugin information. Now, we're going to go to the iframes. You actually can create two iframes, one over the other. The iframe one will appear uh, atop iframe two, and you can determine the general size. The reason why we added a second iframe was we thought it would be nice that you could either have maybe even an ad if you wanted to place an ad at the top or an ad at the bottom in addition to the content uh, that you wanted to have appear here. So what we did was uh, we decided that uh, in this particular case we didn't really want a border but you can determine the border size which will give a nice little border surrounding uh, the web page that you're going to frame. So I'm going to put zero here. Uh, now the iframe URL is going to be the subscription page. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put that here and now we have the subscription URL that will appear on the WordPress site um, so that when the person clicks on the left side of WordPress uh, they can actually be driven right to the website itself which is actually going to be inside of WordPress and we'll show you that we'll show you the final results of all of this too now the iframe width and height uh, I've had a few questions about this one of the easiest ways to determine the size is to get a really cool program called snap a shot 
And this is really neat because you can screenshot just about anything you want with this. It's a one-click screenshot. And you can manipulate the size of uh, the borders, but it also tells you on the, on the side over here. Um, and, and this is the free version. This is totally free. Uh, approximately the size as far as the width, if you don't know exactly the width of the images. And you don't need to be absolutely exact, but you should put a little border around the edge here when you do this. So we've already taken the dimensions of this, and then we also determine the uh, you know, length of the website. So uh, we can get the sizes. You can even guesstimate. Just make sure that you overestimate a little bit when it comes to you know, the height of the website. So that's how we got that information. Um, and now what we're going to do is the iframe width is going to be 992 and the height is going to be 6000 which is a little bit higher than it should be but that works. I only want the one frame so that the website is framed. Now I could put another one in at the bottom and that could be um, anything. It could be an advertisement for a product or service as long as it is somewhere on the web you can put it there even clickable banners just about anything you can imagine so but I'm only going to use one today because we just want to frame the site now I want to talk about this for a second the iframe scrolling this is a useful tool and um, what happens is oh, I'm just trying to get rid of this let's say don't say sorry about that um, what this will allow you to do is instead of the entire page appearing, you know, 6,000 in height, this really long page, you can actually create uh, an iframe that will be as wide and not quite as high so that there will be scrolling. Now there is an issue with this that we're still working out. Uh, this will not work with every WordPress site. Usually the free versions of WordPress tend to have issues with this. Um, most sites it will function on so I suggest that you choose no to start out with but you can experiment with this uh, our next version we're going to continue to work on this issue here but so far about half of the WordPress sites have a scrolling issue so that will still work on probably the better quality WordPress sites but you can give that a try okay so the next thing we do once we're sure we have everything we want is to click generate plugin and then we're going to save it. I'm going to save it to the desktop and you see that it automatically saves the name. Click Save and you'll get this kind of write-up information here and you can click OK. Sometimes you won't get this, sometimes you will. But what happens is you actually have all of your files here and all you have to do is re-zip this file if you have that warning. Occasionally we get that and that's still something that we're working on. So if you want to re-zip the file, um, you can simply add that to an existing zip file or we can call it uh, what it is now, which is the Aquaponics uh, newsletter subscription plugin. And I'm going to click add and it puts all the files in there and it's done and that simple. That is uh, how this uh, how simple it is to do this and we actually had an issue uh, typically after you've used this service once if it's fully installed into your computer it will automatically zip the file for you it also depends on how you save it too so you can actually save it into a zipped file okay so that pretty much in a nutshell is how to use this product the next thing we're going to do is I'll put a video up to show you what this looks like once it's installed in a WordPress site and then you can begin to distribute this all over the place.